One of the biggest obstacles that filmmakers face when uh, with a limited budget is the difference between budgeting, true budgeting, as opposed to reverse budgeting or backing into a budget. We knew that we only had $8,000. We knew that from the time that we got into this. We did not have the resources to budget this movie, so we had to reverse budget, basically back in. We knew how much we could allot to each area, and we were fortunate enough to catch the market on a lull and able to get some amazing people for some amazing rates. We did not have the ability to ensure this production if we would have used squibs or blank firing guns of any kind. Even if we would have used a zirconian gun to fire and make the spark hits which you see on the screen, there was no way that anybody would have been able to to kick up the money with our limited budget to be able to get this done. So we resorted to having to become creative and one of the things that we did was find weapons that were realistic in weight and in movement and the airsoft weapons which we were able to to find were fantastic because they had the ability to blow back plus they looked and felt real so a lot of times when a, when an actor is holding a weapon and it's not a real weapon either it's plastic or some kind of a composite it just doesn't feel and, and convey the point of a real weapon. These did. When Alex originally approached me with regards to the story itself, one of our biggest concerns when I started rewriting it as well was that we would have to do this in one location and one location only. And he continued to reassure me that this one location, this magical place, really existed. Finally, when we did our original tech scout, I understood what he meant. This place, A.G. Holly State Hospital, was everything we could have hoped for. Uh, we did run into one setback, which was with regards to the hurricane that hit the week before, and a lot of damage was done to a facility that was already pretty badly uh, old and dilapidated and damaged, and um, we incorporated a lot of that damage into the script itself. But being able to write around one location was something that made this production possible. And if it wouldn't have been for the fact that we limited our company moves, that we limited the geographical area that we actually had to work with, we would never have been able to get it done in the five day shoot that we had. Um, so that's one thing that you want to keep in mind with regards to if you're going to go out there and you're going to shoot something, try to make sure you can keep it someplace tight and someplace that you can control to a certain degree. Because if you have that ability to control that environment and it's in one location, you're going to be that much, you know, it's going to be that much easier to to you know, squash those problems when they come up. One of the biggest things that uh, first time filmmakers forget to do is to feed their crew. And having been on sets where people had done that, that was one of the things that both Alex and I felt strongly about with regards to catering and making sure they had refreshments and energy drinks, things like that. So that's one of the places where the majority of our money went to was to food and the resources to, to quench the thirst, especially in places like the basement where we were shooting where it was over 100 degrees most of the time. So make sure you feed your crews out there and uh, keep, them, uh, keep them happy because food is fuel. With regards to stunts, we didn't have a lot of options. Um, we did not have the budget to hire a professional stunt person, but what Alex and I did was we decided to choreograph a lot of the stunts ourselves. Now, every time we choreographed something or came up with it, it was a job for one of us to try to do it and see how it would come out. Guess who ended up doing it? So I ended up doing a lot of the stunts that we ended up coming up with first when we had to drag somebody or they had to do a fall or they had to do a run. And that was a lot of fun to do. But the great thing about it is that it actually gave us an opportunity to see if anybody would get hurt or and make sure that it was as safe as possible so that nobody would get hurt. If you have the tools, go make your movie. If you don't have the tools, find the tools, find the knowledge, go make your movie. Just go out and do something because the minute you go out and you do something, you will set yourself apart from everyone else. There's too many people out there that are talking about making a movie and they're not doing it. What we want to be able to do is convey to you guys that we did it and we'd love for you guys to be able to do it too. Buy your movie today. Azura.com.